Hello, everybody. This is Julie D from Nordonios.news, and I am talking today on Zoom with John Young from what is it, Phoenix? What is it called? Rising Phoenix Transformations. Rising Phoenix Transformations. And he has a new location opening very soon in Norfolk Village. Yes. So, first of all, tell us about the the Transformation Center and the services you will be providing? Yeah, so I, uh, I provide uh, personal training. I do small group training uh, and then what's called transformation coaching. And basically that's just more on the side of making sustainable behavioral changes, uh, creating healthier habits, mentally, physically, um, in some situations, uh, spiritually. So, you know, all around mind, body, uh, coaching. So got a little studio set up for some, uh, for the fitness side of things. And then of course my office, you know, set up for the coaching side of things as well. So. And obviously with Zoom now, I presume you're using Zoom to um, coach people? Yes. Yeah, so I actually, I'm, I'm trying to branch out a few different things. So I do in-home training as well. So, um, and on top of that, I'll be doing some Zoom and Facebook Live classes. Um, you know, we, I do yoga once in a while or hit classes, things like that. So, you know, periodically I'll be getting on there to do some of that and in and, and some maybe webinar kind of things, um, just putting some knowledge and, you know, hopefully some inspiration out there. And um, I know you had a spot before that used to um, run like a gym out of. Can you tell everybody about that? Yeah, so I'm actually coming from uh, a gym in Macedonia. It's a private gym, uh, so it's not like out there. But went in there. I've been there for about two years. I've been training out of there. And uh, yeah, so it's a great place. I love it. I love the people. Um, I definitely wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today uh, if it wasn't for one particular individual there. Definitely, for sure. A lot of experience gained, a lot of knowledge and support. It's pretty great. It was a good experience. So that previous location was your first, your first, you know, place other than maybe, you know, going to uh, helping people at other gyms and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was the first, first place that, uh, you know, gave me a shot when I got out here and started doing this. So. You know what they say, like baby steps. Yeah. No, that was uh, a lot of baby steps that led to a lot of, <laughs> lot of good results. So um, let's talk about um, the name and what inspired you to, to name it Rising Phoenix Transformation. Yeah, so um, anybody that's, that's seen any of the past videos, of course, might have some idea of where it came from. But, you know, the, the, the whole story behind the Phoenix um, being consumed by its own flames and then out of the ashes it rises. So it, it definitely uh, was inspired kind of by my past and my personal transformation story. Um, of course, having been to the bottom, been broken, been weak, been, you know, beaten up and, and ready to just give up and consumed by my own fire, if you will, um, you know, be, between the drug abuse and prison and everything that happened in my past, right? And I was consumed by it, and, and finally I reached that point where um, I started down a different path and, you know, eventually led me to where I am today. So, you know, the whole uh, we rise from the ashes kind of uh, concept. So basically, you know, that's where it came from. Uh, no matter how far, no matter how beaten down we are, you know, all of us are capable of, you know, rising from, from taking that pile of ashes and turning something, you know, beautiful and amazing out of it. Well, you're truly an inspiration to a lot of people. And I know that there's been a lot of people that have helped you along the way as well. Like you had mentioned, you know, other locations, other people. And I, I think sometimes if people are looking for assistance, they're so dark and depressed. And if they just open their eyes and look around, there's people that will help them get to the next place. You know, it's, it's crazy, and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I would not be here, flat out, would not be here if it wasn't for the amount of support that I've gotten. And, and it took some effort on my part. Like, I had to reach out. Yes. You know, it was kind of scary uh, 
you know, first getting out and deciding this is what I wanted to do. Like I had no idea, you know, what I was doing at first, other than knowing the training side of things. Like I didn't know how to start my own business. I didn't know how to, um, at one point you brought up the depression. Like I didn't know how to talk about any of that stuff. I didn't know how to connect with people. Um, you know, so if it wasn't for reaching out and all of these people who I ended up finding along my path that, yeah, that have just been so amazing and so supportive and so open and generous uh, with their, you know, kindness and, and love and, you know, all of that. So it's hard, but there are people out there. There are so many people out there. And, and I was one of those people that at one time thought the entire world was against me. Mm-hmm. I thought nobody really cared. Nobody really loved me. Nobody wanted to help me. Nobody wanted to see me come up. Everybody wanted to see me down, you know, and I couldn't have been anywhere further from the truth at that point in my life. Um, and to realize that it's, it's, it's amazing. It is. So, I mean, obviously you're going to be able to inspire people that um, connect with you either on social media or come into your place and tell them that, Hey, whatever you want to do, I can help you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Goals are, <laughs> it just takes some proper planning, coaching, and uh, a good team support to get there. But so. isn't it, isn't it, don't you think nowadays it's hard to know what the goal is? Because, you know, you would never probably have this as a goal. This would be like mind blowing if you had set this up as a goal. It's probably like oh <laughs> the goal was slowly revealed a little as you went along. Yes. Yeah. There's a, there's a saying more will be revealed. Uh, yes that we used in a certain program. And it's, it's, it's so true. There was a point in my life, like if somebody told me that this is what I was doing at some point, I would have just, I would have broken down, rolled on the floor laughing at him. It wouldn't have. I know. I mean, you knew me like years ago, if, you know, would you ever say to me, Hey, you know, Mrs. D you're, you're going to have a newspaper someday. I'd be like, sure, John, that sounds like a thing. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, know. it wasn't my goal either, but sometimes the path is revealed as you go along. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm huge on um, the self-discovery process. You know, we get so caught up in life that we kind of forget who we are. We forget what we connect with. Um, and so, like, part of the process is just really getting to know, trying new things, uh, looking at things from different perspectives. And, and it's just, just really getting in tune and in touch with, you know, who you really are, what you enjoy, what you like doing, you know, what gives you purpose and fulfillment. You know, I'm huge on finding purpose and finding ways to fulfill that. Um, and a lot of people, they just don't know what that purpose is yet. So, the, you know, there's a whole process to go through um, to get you there. And yes, yeah, so, so goals can be revealed so you, at any time. So you've learned how to coach people through that? Yeah, yeah, through uh, experience and, of course, the courses that I've been through. Um, Cause I think, you know, people think, oh, people in high school don't know where they're going and what they want to do. But I mean, I know people in their forties who've just now figured out what they want to do. So I don't really think it's an age thing. I think it's, there's just a lot of people lost right now. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, age has absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter how old you are. It's never too late to, to start a new goal. Yeah. So, I, um, I think back to, um, the struggles you had in high school, I don't think you had any goals at that point <laughs> other than not getting much, through the day. <laughs> much, and, and, and if we're going to be honest, I didn't really believe I was going to be here at 29. You know, so having goals at this age was beyond right. any scope of reality I was living in. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy to see your success and everything. And, and it's amazing. So let's talk more about like some of the trainings and some of the, the ways you can help people. Um, so obviously people just like general coaching, if I don't know what to do with my life, um, fitness, um, you know, weight issues, any other specific issues you can help people with? So yeah, weight loss seems to be a a big one, um, that we work with. So we do have weight loss protocols, um, and training for that. I do have, um, like I said earlier, and I'll show you guys here in a minute, the whole center out here designated pretty much for the physical training side of things. Um, but so we spend some time out there and in almost any program that I take anybody through has a physical aspect of it. Even if we're just doing, um, you know, I, I get, I don't want to call it life coaching, but it, along those lines, um, just because, you know, 
even if you just consider your body a vessel, right? I need to be healthy. I need to be functional to be able to do the things that I want to do to go out and, and be live a productive lifestyle. So it does wonders for, you know, depression and anxiety and things like that. So, um, but I, uh, mindset and purpose coaching, I get, and that kind of goes along with the transformation coaching. But like I said before, um, I have a process to, to self-discovery, um, which leads to finding purpose. And then how do we go about fulfilling that purpose? So, um, life purpose coaching kind of all goes hand in hand. Um, I, it, the program that I offer is pretty extensive. So like when I say transformation co coaching, it encompasses a lot of things. So it's not just, you know, one or two things. Now people have, uh, individual goals, right? And of course we, we focus on those, but it's all about getting to the root issues um, and the developing the whole self rather than just one little part here and there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, um, that's, you know, I think gone are, are the, like the diets, like I'm just going to eat carrots. I mean, everybody knows that. I think everybody knows now you need to change your lifestyle. You need to be doing stuff differently than how you're doing it now and do it for the rest of your life. It's not like a 90 day fasting program. No. So all those diets, I mean, they're great. They do what they're supposed to do, but most of them aren't sustainable. Um, now I do also offer nutritional guidance, um, as part of what I do. Um, I, I try, I, it, again, it's, it's the behavioral changes. So I try mm -hmm. to, you know, provide the information necessary to make, to make informative decisions. Uh, to make health conscious decisions. So, you know, teaching about nutrition and, and macros and, you know, certain dieting uh, protocols and, and whatnot. So and we definitely do dive into that. Well, give me an example of eat this, not that. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a little bit more complex than that, but. I'm just trying to give people like little tidbits, you know? Yeah. So uh, one of the big things that I, I, encounter a lot is fast food and, and pop um and even diet pop right so there's this thing going on right now that i've been diving into with uh diet soda diet pop you know whatever you want to call it and uh you know the artificial sweeteners and the insulin response um you know and how it affects your body and your cravings and all those things so i i try to uh coach my clients through replacing almost any of those beverages with simply more water um, because water sustains life. It, it, it provides things um, that you, you don't get from drinking all that other, I, I want to say crap, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a really good example because kicking pop is an easy way to get on the health, you know, being healthier oh. and diet oh, yeah. pop is just as bad as regular pop for sure. It, it, just in a different way. That's all, you know, in, in some ways. And that's so, okay. Good point. One of the things that I help people realize is that you can have a better alternative, but still be bad in a different way. So the pop and the uh, diet yes. pop. Right. You know, People think they're, they're being healthy by having diet pop when it really, they're just swapping out another bad. Right. You know, so how do we go about fixing that? And then, you know, the, the big thing is, is like people that drink pop seven days a week, three times a day, like that's a hard habit to kick, you know, like that is an addiction. Um, and, and you'll see people who stop drinking pop that regularly go into like, they get, you know, cravings and irritable because, you know, the caffeine and the sugar content, things like that. So. Yeah, so um, I'm glad you brought up pop because I have kicked pop. I was a, that was probably like my only vice like that I couldn't get rid of was pop. And two months I'm pop free. Um, and they, um, I have seen where once you kick pop, you know, try it again and you'll see how bad it, like it tastes, like it's too sweet now. So I have no, because I tried it again and I'm like, I don't even want that. It's just too sweet now. Um, so one of the things I learned was, um, I would have, a, I would have one every night that I, I got it down to one because years ago I was probably like three pops a day. I got it right. down to once a day, but I kicked the night one by replacing with watermelon because it had the water and the sweetness. Okay. So that helped me kick it. But, um, but yeah, obviously replacing, I mean, just more water is always a good tip as well. So usually there water is like one of, it's ridiculous 
how, how far most of us fall short with just drinking enough water and how much of a difference it makes when we do like, it's incredible. <laughs> and Absolutely. it's so simple. <laughs> it really is. And it's, it's not, I mean, it, it doesn't cost a lot. Like some of these drinks that these people are buying are very expensive and full of, you know, like just think of the monster drinks and stuff like that. And it's just full oh. of a lot of stuff you shouldn't have. Yeah. I've been through my battle with, uh, with energy drinks. So. <laughs> I'm sure everybody has. And I think one of the things that um, people, you know, they get on this kick or whatever, if you really want something, have a little bit of it, you know, don't keep that from yourself because that kind of helps with the whole psychological thing. Yeah. I don't believe in fully restrictive uh, right. diets. That's just, it's a lot more, you're just adding stress to the whole whole thing. <laughs> so before you walk us around your space, tell us where you are location wise. So I am uh, right in the plaza where Best Gyro and Dairy Mart are. In the um, village, Northfield Village. Yeah, Northfield Village, sorry. Um, so right across the street from Sunoco in the police department, it's 10468 Northfield Road. So really easily accessible. It's right there out on the main street. It's nice. Um, yeah, on the way to the casino. They can yeah. stop. Or from the casino, on the way to the casino. Or from yeah. the casino, exactly. Yeah, well, so. um, give us a tour. Yeah, cool. So, um, man, you already kind of seen my office. I just got all my cool stuff in here. I brought my Buddha picture. Anyway, so one thing I do have is my kitchenette. Um, this, you know, water, a sink, all that stuff. A um, little fridge. In case anybody, can you see? I'm having a hard time doing this. This kind of goes slow, so you don't like kill us, you know, make us dizzy. <laughs> and then this thing right here, I got that espresso machine. <laughs> I think I saw some posts on your Facebook about that. You did, because <laughs> anybody that knows me knows that I have a thing for coffee. Um, and so that was my compromise was the espresso machine. So anyway, so here is the main training space. Um, got some cardio equipment over here. Right. Got that air bike, um, which is amazing. Uh, you can do uh, just regular biking with your legs. You can get your arms working out in it. Um, got the elliptical. I got the pieces over here. Just some uh, full gym stuff. I got a Smith machine squat rack um my favorite area right over here is the boxing bag and the tires because i do have enough space to flip tires in here which is a huge deal for me <laughs> right <laughs> you really pack a um, lot in this space you know what it i knocked out a wall Oof. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> it wasn't structural and it opened the whole place up and it's just, I didn't, I honestly, I came in here and I'm like, yeah, oh, this is kind of small, but ended up getting a lot in here. So we got the entrance area, coat hangers, little place to put everybody's stuff. And then the, the chalkboard right there. So that's going to be, uh, you know, notes for classes or anything inspirational that one of my clients wants to put up some goals and stuff like that. Um, um, capacity wise, what's your limit? The dumbbell rack. So I don't typically do groups larger than like four or five. Um, we can fit about 15 people in here. Um, it'd be a little tight, but you know, again, I, I like the intimacy of smaller groups um, usually. And then especially with everything going on, people are a little bit iffy about cramming a bunch of people into a small space. So yes. I'm not really huge on it, um, you know, so. I could get a decent sized class in here though, if I wanted to. Um, I have somebody that's actually talking about uh, coming in and doing like a small Zumba class. Again, the, the yoga, it's just a matter of spacing all the, uh, the mats and stuff like that out. Right. So, um, Very nice. Well, that's a good amount of weights there. I see you even, you know, have the yeah, smaller no, ones, <laughs> but the, the light weights, you know, at the bottom for people just starting off. <laughs> right. Got the little ones. Um, <laughs> And then the big ones. Yeah. Got a, uh, an app, like a knee raise and dip bar. And then my favorite poster of all, 
is the giant phoenix on that's the wall. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It is. It's amazing. Um, and then, of course, you know, sound system. Now, something that I do have, right, and I'm showing this last because I wanted to show all that other cool stuff first, um, is I, I designated an area in this corner here for kids stuff. So I personally have two kids, right? I know you know this. Um, I have a three-year-old and a baby who is going on nine months old. And it was a big thing for me to make sure that in my busy, chaotic lifestyle, I can spend time with them. So I brought up some of their stuff so they could come after daycare. But also so that my clients who also have equally chaotic lifestyles can come in here and, and bring their kids with them. It's small. They can keep an eye on them the whole time, right? I got a little gate to put up just in case, you know, their kids that crawl around or whatever. Um, I'm going to get a little TV up here with some Disney plus and Netflix and all that stuff. So, you know, they can come up here and do their homework. We're going to have internet so they can, you know, get on there, do their homework. It's just, I wanted it to be family friendly. It's really, really important uh, to me personally. Um, I know it's important to a lot of other people, so it was a huge deal for me to, to set aside some space for that, so, you know. And I know you're opening, uh, you have an inspection today and you're hoping, hoping to open very soon. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, have my little grand opening uh, the first weekend of October, if everything goes well. So yeah, I'll have my last inspection today and uh, if all goes well be open next week. Well, I'm really proud of everything that you've accomplished so far. And I know that you have lots more wonderful things ahead of you. No doubt. <laughs> well, I think uh, we'll let everybody go. Um, and thank you for giving us a tour. And we look to hearing some more success uh, about the new place. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs>